That is some cool stuff right there. I mean, look at that shot right there. That's bad to the bone. Let me grab all of my stuff. You can see the sun is starting to come up over there a little bit. See my water jug. That's the best thing ever right there. Love it. Get my hard hat. All right, y'all see that pile over there? It's gonna be operation load that pile out right there. Got that one. And there's a line of wood that goes around that way too. We're gonna get it. I knocked a big dent in this dude yesterday. That's a pretty substantial pile right there, but the truck's uh, going and coming. If, the, if they don't get held up at the mill today, I can pretty much knock that pile out right there. So I'm in pile number three. I just loaded one load out of it. I'm gonna move it where these trucks can get by right here. That's dad right there in that truck. I'm waiting on him to take off. He's been binding down. I started over here with a, there he goes, good deal. I was at 100% on a battery and I've been sitting there idling in the air, hovering up there down to 66% to, uh, now. So we're gonna chase him out. That's some of that pine putt wood that I've been loading. Kinda surprised, this, this stuff's in pretty bad shape. We've been going over here now three and a half weeks. And I mean, I'm having to be very, very gentle loading this stuff. It it has done dried out that much. Even with us having the uh, cooler temperatures too. So I can't. When I'm grabbing out of the piles, I'm having to be really gentle with it. I can't just bear down with my grapple and just put full force on the grapple and closing it. Even on the stuff that's uh, 12, 13 inches diameter where I'm grabbing it at right there, if I squeeze it all the way, that stuff just snaps like glass. And that can that can be from, you know, from drying out too. But I think on in this situation right here, just my thoughts is the, I, I don't think the seedlings here that were planted, I don't think the fiber in them, these trees, is that good to where it's uh they hold real well and oftentimes on this fast growth stuff you'll see that some areas are better and were and worse than others so i'm going to uh today i'm just about going to get everything loaded out over here which is a a great great thing the road's good right now. We've had a dry week this week. There's one wet spot up here that Dad's fixing to come to. So he come out today to help kind of haul, kind of speed things up a little bit. So that makes five trucks he got running right there. With him running. Right up around this next curve right here this curve that goes to the right it's a little wet right through there you can kind of see it we tracked it up pretty good there yesterday but they the trucks can get through it no problem it's it's not bad for them you know? he's almost to the uh black top up here now these guys got him a pretty nice little uh, hunting camp on the left over there where dad is right now got him a camper over there set up and had it fixed up pretty nice for, for hunting season because we're we're right around the corner from uh gun season opening here in mississippi and alabama ours in both states opens the saturday before thanksgiving uh full out and let her rip then so there's a the black top that is uh, County Road 75 right there. He's gonna make a right, um, 3,600 feet from my location. I hear him getting on her, boy. 
making that caterpillar purr. <laughs> Good stuff, man. We're just gonna chase him on down the road here. See how far I can go. It ought to go a good little ways. I'm not sure I'll go all the way out. Though. I'm about to, he's, he's speeding on off from me here. I want to click her up in sport mode to keep up with her. So I'm running, I'm at 30 miles an hour now. Oh yeah, this, that's cool, man, right there. I got the drone, she's caught it now, boy. I'm not in sport mode yet. Oh, he's pulling away from me. Let's kick her out of sport mode. Uh oh, here we go. Got her in sport mode. We'll get on up about the mid 40s. There we go. I'm gaining on him now. I'm running 42. Heck yeah. <laughs> Actually, outrunning him, man. There we go. That is some cool stuff right there. I mean, look at that shot right there. That's bad to the bone. There we go. Let me catch back up with me there a little bit. You see all the power lines? That road I just went to on the left right there, that's Jim Deal Road, J-I-M-D-I-L-L -L -L Road. <clears throat> Man, yeah, I'm about to turn her around and bring her back to the house, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. Appreciate y'all watching this right here. That's some good stuff. Later, Dad. Car behind him right there. Now, this is a this right here is a restaurant right here. It's called the Lodge. We just built, opened up right there at the time COVID was uh, about to come on, man. Ooh, they're still open. They've made it though. It's a nice place. I have not ate there yet. Got them a nice lake right there beside it too that they dammed up. All right, let's bring this drone back here. All right, let's give a little update here. So all that pile is gone. And now I'm working on this one. I figure probably three more loads is about gonna get this pile right here. I think I'm gonna be able to get all this cleaned up today, I believe, because I gotta get in that run right there too. I don't see why I can't get it today. As long as the trucks are keep coming out of the mill, the first round's done pretty good. Mm, we'll have to see how the second round goes uh, coming out. People gets, uh, gets running better as the day goes on. So I got another truck here. Well, let's load it. So just like that, I'm done. That was where the first pile started out right there this morning. And then I got all this one picked up right here too. Trucks ran good today. I was uh, very happy, happy with that. I didn't hold them up too bad. So I'm gonna pull my cab bolts out real quick and get it ready to get my machine ready to move. Cause I think uh, I'll probably pick it up this afternoon. Probably take it back up to the other job first thing Saturday morning. So that's a wrap on this one. Indicate. We gotta get that out. You gotta unload. There's uh, all those. There's a ton of corn in the back of my truck. It looks heavy. Well, I mean, you're gonna pick them up one at a time. Yeah. Okay. Still heavy. Right. Now we're gonna do something else. I'm gonna get that whole thing out at one time. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of these chunks here. I'm gonna jump on the tractor and come over here and we're gonna throw them in the loader bucket. Okay. All right. So we're gonna, and all these little pieces are all. We're gonna get them all. The rest of them up. <laughs> the dogs, they're ready to go. <laughs> Come on, man. They got all day. 
Load it up. Let's get it done. I need some you come out here with flip flops on what the heck's wrong with you? You should have known. I got a nifty little tool right here. Wow. That's how you break oh. off your foot. What? That's how you cut through your foot. Somebody saying today in the comments that, that your waste is burning all the fruit up. Yeah. I gotta do something with it, you yeah. know, right? I mean, I don't want it to lay in here in the yard and rot. Yeah. I think it kind of meant that maybe somebody could be using it for firewood. Well, I mean, if they want to come get it, they can come get it. But there's not that many people burning firewood around here. Mm -hmm. Not like it used to be. Not like Yeah. Just to get away. Yeah, you can get it. Some cookies around it. Right there. I'm gonna make a wall, see. Sister, ball practice. She's home now. Is she? I hope she'd have her out here too. So today, if you happen to be anywhere around Tuscaloosa, outside Tuscaloosa, anywhere over there. Uh, Jill and I will be 
at Northport Power Equipment. The address will be down below. They're a husband or dealer right there in Northport, Alabama, right on the side of Highway 82. We'll be there from 10 to 2 o'clock today. If you're in the market for a chainsaw, come check them out. They got chainsaws marked down as much as 20% off. So that means a thousand dollar chainsaw, you can get it for 800 bucks. So going to have demo saws there for you to run if you want to run some. So uh, just come on out and uh, we'll be there. So appreciate y'all watching this video. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.